It was a beautiful summer morning on the island of Sodom, and James and Edward had finished all their jobs for the day. Look out, old iron. The shining red engine is coming through. Get out of the way. But I was sitting here. No, you were not. I was supposed to be sitting here. Next day, James had to carry a freight train. A freight train? Puh! I should be carrying passenger cars. We'll get James back. We'll get James back, said the cars. As James went up Gordon's Hill. Oh, Mr. James, uh, the, the cars, they are planning on pushing you down the hill. You must watch out. On the hill, tar and oil tankers waited for James, but James didn't notice. Oh my goodness! James had made a terrible mess. Tar and oil lay everywhere. Edward was the only one who noticed James. Oh no, James is in trouble. I've got to find someone quickly. Luckily, Butch was on the road next to Edward. Butch, quickly, James is in trouble. You have to help him, or maybe alert someone. I'll do my best, said Butch. Butch told Sir Topham Hatt, so Sir Topham Hatt came to take a ride with him. Oh my goodness, said Sir Topham Hatt. Later that night, Sir Topham Hatt spoke to James. Now James, you did not take the route I told you to take. You took a completely different one just because you thought it was faster. But you didn't know about the cars below. So, what I advise you do is pay more attention next time. Yes, sir, said James, sadly. As Sir Topham Hatt was about to leave with Edward, James talked to Edward. Thank you, Edward. I shouldn't have said all those things to you. It's okay, said Edward. I'm always willing to help out a friend in need. And then Edward chucked away.